Periscope broadcasting. Look, is it hard to read those comments or is it just me? <laughs> Stay tuned. You're definitely going to want to see. Hey, Christina Irvin here. I'm in my home office in Northeast Tennessee. I wanted to take a few moments and talk to you today about Periscope broadcasting and one desktop way that you can actually manage your chat conversation. It's a little tedious to see those comments on your mobile device, device, especially if you're not using a tablet and you're using a small phone. So there are several third-party um, sort of websites and, and applications that are out to help you manage that on the desktop, but I've yet to be able to get any work, any to work. Not even the Google Chrome extension have I been personally able to get to work. So I did hear about a site today. I tried it out really quickly. Um, just went to the site really quickly, saw some um, some opportunity in it, and I wanted to share it with you so that you could do some testing on it as well. Okay, so here we are over um, on my desktop. The name of the website is called scoperchat.com. Now the developer of this site literally created it for himself, but he's graciously allowed all of us to use it. When you first get to scoperchat.com, it's gonna ask you to put in a password and the password is Gorilla. Don't worry, I'll put the URL and all the information you need at the bottom below this video, okay? Once you put in that password, it's going to then request that you put in your broadcast URL. And it's talking about your Periscope um, web broadcast URL at periscope.tv forward slash whatever your username is. Uh, my username is uh, at VC Irvin, so mine is periscope.tv forward slash VC Irvin, right? For example. What you're going to want to do is once you start your broadcast on your mobile device, as people are coming into the room, make sure that you, A, on your desktop, have your sound muted. This is a good little tidbit, okay? Make sure and have your sound muted, right? Then you're going to come over here to Periscope TV, and you're going to see where the live recording is. It'll show live above it. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You're going to click on that live recording, uh, that live uh, feed. And then go up to the URL and copy the URL from the live feed. And then go back over to Scoper Chat and paste in, uh, right click and paste or control V on your desktop. What that's going to do is then bring in all of your, the, what's going on in your current live feed. Now, if this were live right now, you would be seeing the heart count go real time. You'd be seeing it increase, right? Now, what I like about this is it's showing everybody as it's coming in, as they're coming into your room. Again, the, this is going to take a little multitasking, but if you're not very good at multitasking, no worries. When you first start your broadcast, just simply let your audience know, hey, guys, appreciate you coming. Going to get started here in a moment while everybody's piling in. I'm setting up a couple of things on my desktop so that I can give you some really good nuggets, right? It'll only take about five seconds, 10 seconds to do. They won't mind as they're coming in. Just make sure and be having a little small talk with them, okay? So what I like about it is, again, is it's going to be showing you your heart count real time and it shows you your comments. Now, here's a little tidbit to keep in mind. The comments are actually showing in um, at the bottom. You're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom because the, the comments going on in your Periscope, your live broadcast room, will show over here to the right. OK, you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom because the most current comments will flow in from the bottom. But the good thing about it is, as you can see, uh, it's a lot bigger uh, print and you can literally scroll back through. So if you happen to miss someone's comments, no worry. You can just scroll back through and find their comments and respond to them. It should help your engagement. Again, I've not done a lot of testing with it, but I certainly like what I see so far. Uh, and I wanted to share it with you. Do me a favor. Let me know how it's working out for you in the comments below this video. One of the reasons that you want to be using Periscope is to help you build your audience. And a lot of people struggle with building their audience online. I certainly understand. That's why I created you a totally free five-step uh, framework to help you start to grow your audience online or certainly scale up building your audience online. Go on over to ChristinaIrvin.com. Pick that up for totally for free. It even has an assessment in there that will help you figure out where you are in your audience building. You can find more marketing, mindset, and time management tips just like these over at ChristinaIrvin.com. 
And while you're over there, remember to pick up your totally free copy of my five-step audience building framework. I'll see you over there.